So the very first step to start working with Dispatcher on Symfony is to install the component itself. Composer require Symfony Event Dispatcher. So I already done that, but for you, you have to hit that enter and it start fetching all the components and that kind of stuff, download things, set up everything for us and we'll be ready to go. So I might just console this for now because I don't need it. And we could move to the next step. So we have some major players into this micro system inside Symfony. So the first player, let me just drag it right here, is the event. So this is our first player. So when event is dispatched, it's identified by a unique name. For example, it, mo it could be called like so. So let me just drag a text and it could be called kernel response like so. Okay, which any numbers of listeners may be listening to an event instance is also created and passed to all of the listeners. As you will see later, the event object itself often contain data about the event being dispatched. So right here, we having a naming convention about this event. So the unique event name can be any string, but optionally follows a few naming space conventions. So use only lowercase letters like so as we did number like kernel dot response. Okay. So when a dispatcher notify listeners, it pass an actual event object to these listeners. So we have another big player who is the dispatcher. And as the name Mensch, it will be responsible of dispatching specific or various events into or between listeners. So dispatcher is the central object of the event dispatcher system. In general, a single dispatcher is created, which maintain a registry of all the listeners. When an event is dispatched via the dispatcher, it notifies all the listeners registered with that specific event. And finally, the third actioner or actor into our system is the listeners or the subscribers. So I'll call them subscribers or listener listeners. Okay, so let me just move this away right here and draw connection between these things. So let's suppose we have our system right here. Let's say this is login system and move this right here, this right here, and this login system will execute any specific X event. For example, we did login right here, okay? Then we have this login event, okay? So what happened here when this system process this login event, then the dispatcher will be watching this one. So this dispatcher will do notify all these subscriber that an event of type login event is being executed and initiated. So it happened that the subscriber or the listeners will react to this by executing any specific type of script that we tell them to do.